Hello everyone. Uh, you might recognize me by voice from my uh, video about two years ago doing a Yamaha old late 80s, 89 to be exact, EF1000, which is under the cover now and won't be uncovering. We are, we are doing something else today. Uh, so we are working on a 2015 or 2016, I think, Yamaha EF1000. Yamaha EF3000 ISEB pull and electric start and uh, we're doing a simple oil change this is my uh, customer's generator and he bought it brand new as I recommended and uh, this old Yamaha recommends braking period first 20 hours you change the oil and therefore after every hundred but I, I think that's too high so changing it every 50 you want it to run forever would be my recommendation so we i told him we'll do the same thing on this one he went over 20 he went 50 hours it's fine so it's it's getting his first oil change done today and um wanted to show you guys the easiest way to do this take two car ramps in this case plastic ones lift one end you can do all this by yourself lift one end Put the car ramp under one end and then lift the other one put it under here and then you have enough room to put the pin there this cover i have already removed let me show you how it goes in here make sure you use a, a um, flat head to loosen this first and then a fillip so you don't strip it so you can reuse it 100 times um here's a flat head here's a phillips I use the Snap-on, but uh, there's a better brand than Snap-on. It's called JIS. It's a Japanese brand for, I believe it's a vessel. I couldn't find it, so that's the only reason I'm not using it, so I have to use a Snap-on. It fits on these, it fits on these Phillips screws perfectly. Snap-on will strip them. JIS will break the tip off, it'll break the head off the screw, but it won't, it won't, it won't strip the head uh do that and then here's a plug i took out from the bottom so these have a drain plug they the smaller yamaha generators like your new 1000 or 2000 or this old 1000 they don't have a drain plug you tip them over to the side and like alarmers you know and uh you change well and i don't like this but the, i believe starting ef 2400 which shares the same order as this 171 cc's had a drain plug so that's why we picked it up on uh car ramps and put a pan underneath for some of you that might want to say oh you just pick these up and tip them over to the side well the thing weighs 150 pounds when you and your buddy are tipping over to the side all the oil believe me halfway will end up in the bottom right here and out of experience i'm telling you no matter how much you wipe it and clean it you'll never get it all out from there so um you take this plug out as i showed here's a drain plug here's a filler plug uh, the drain plug has a crush gasket on it but since this is brand new generator and never had an oil change we're going to reuse that drain plug aluminum crush washer and you want to tighten these only 10 pounds and if you use a torque wrench and tighten them only 10 pounds you can reuse that aluminum uh, gasket 10 times and again if you use a torque wrench and tighten them only 10 pounds the drain plug could be used a hundred times so um, use a torque wrench if you don't have experience and, and that way you're not over torquing and, and damaging things and destroying them uh, I would open this but I'm not because I have already checked the well on it yesterday on the leveled ground and it's up to the last thread full just dark which means it's not burning a drop of oil and usually some motors when they brand new and breaking in they're burning oil till they break in and they stop and they burn oil again after 10,000 hours after they wear out again uh, so that's why I'm not opening that second reason why I'm not opening I'm over here on a slope and the angle which is perfect for the, all the oil to come out and um, I might even run some new oil down the filler plug to flush it out and then I'll be um, putting the drain plug with the gasket back in doing 10 pounds on it and then be getting it off these ramps and putting it on the level ground and then filling it run it check it again 
um, these Yamahas are, I'm going to show you a tag in a minute. These are made in Japan, which is rare nowadays. Uh, we're going to be using a 1040. Uh, I recommend it to the guy, first three or four oil changes, use a regular 1040 so the generator breaks in properly, and then after that, switch to semi-synthetic. I'm not a fan of full synthetic or synthetic only. The Yamaha has the, the 1550. They have a 1040 also, but uh you know because this is a just a low rain push out motor yeah it's air cooled and you could be working hard and getting hot but i don't think it works as hard as for instance yamaha yz450 or wr450 that, that should have their full synthetic so i'm thinking semi-synthetic would be just fine and back here we have yamaha on the bottom you see main japan and some of you might say oh well that doesn't matter well uh yes it does uh, the reason why it does is usually you go to Lowe's and Home Depot and see those weed whackers and blowers and they, you know, cheap brands. Uh, you see emission compliance paid at 50 hours, which is uh, low. Um, not the bike, not the Suzuki, but I'm trying to show you my Echo Blower and my Kawasaki weed whacker. They have emission compliance period 300 hours because they're well made machines. Now Yamaha, back to here, to the information label right here, it's made in Japan, my friend has already scratched this tag, he's not as cautious as he should be. See on the bottom here you have emission compliance period 500 hours, <laughs> because it's a well made machine, it's built in Japan, quality built in Japan to last a long time, and you will get a lot more than 500 hours out of these if you change the oil every 50 hours after first three or four oil changes switch to Yamaha semi-synthetic 1040 or uh, 1050 it's questionable depends on where you live 1040 or 1050 semi-synthetic every 50 hours and I am very confident these can last 10,000 hours maybe 15 without any rebuilds so um, yeah so anyway, uh, the purpose of this video is uh, to help people that uh, own a Yamaha generator like this one or similar Yamaha, the heavier ones, the 45 or the 63. Uh, it's a simple solution to an oil change. Use two ramps. In this case, I have plastic ones. Set the generator on them, leave enough room for the pan inside. Uh, if you're doing it on a level ground, you can take the fuel plug out. I won't because I'll start running through there. I'm not trying to make a mess. I'm trying to do it right. So um, from this point on, you guys know what to do. It's a no-brainer. Drain plug, fuel plug, and um, hopefully this video is educational to, to someone. Uh, save you time and save you money from paying someone to do it. It's easy. you know, And you know it's done right. So... Um, Thank you for watching my video and um, I will see you next time I do another fine quality piece of equipment like this, another Yamaha or Honda or, 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 or similar. See you next time.